Start, shall we, with some breaking news. And Sean Maloney is the new Hibernian head coach. He replaces Jack Ross. Maloney was Roberto Martinez's assistant manager with Belgium. He signed a three and a half year deal. And former Hibs captain Gary Caldwell will be his assistant. Maloney will take training today before holding a media conference later this afternoon. Let's get some immediate reaction to this and speak to Luke Shanley. Yes, we'll get reaction to that big breaking news that Sean Maloney is the new Hibernian head coach on a three-and-a-half-year deal. Congratulations, too, to Celtic for winning the first trophy of the season, the Premier Sports Cup. John Collins is a man who has played with both teams. He was the last Hibs man to win the League Cup, the last Hibs manager, that is. Uh, just on that uh, Sean Maloney news, John, what's your thoughts? Three-and-a-half-year deal. Good good news. I'm delighted for Sean. I think he's, he was a terrific football player. He served his apprenticeship in the coaching department over in Belgium with top coach uh, Martinez so I'm sure he'll do very well wish him all the very best coming in as, as your first job uh, the Hibs job what's that like well it's, it's obviously a testing job there's expectations um, but I think it's a terrific first job for him everything's in place I think there's a, there's a decent squad there and there's a transfer window just opening so he'll be able to assess his squad in the next few weeks and hopefully he'll, he'll add to it in the window yeah we'll get to the cup final in a minute but from what you saw of Hibs in the game do you think he needs, still needs a, a few more in before Hibs can start getting back up the right end of the table? Yeah, I think he'll be looking at strength in the squad, I think, if, if you can. Um, it's not easy in January, but uh, I think it'd be good if one or two came in. Obviously, it's got to be quality players. It's not just about numbers, it's about bringing in better players than you've already got. Yesterday's game, I thought the first half was a little bit disappointing from a Hibs point of view. I didn't think they passed the ball, they gave it back to Celtic too easily. Celtic dominated the first half, but second half was a closer affair. Yeah, so on that final, do you think Celtic deserved to win or should it have maybe gone to extra time? I think Celtic deserved to win the game. They were a better team, dominated, but obviously Hibs had the chances towards the end to get that equaliser. They should have got the equaliser. It was a good opportunity. And, of course, the penalty. It looked like it was a penalty as well. Yeah, let's look at refereeing decisions because I'm <laughs> sure Celtic will say they could have had a penalty in the first half with Greg Taylor. Um, but... In terms of the Hibs situation, David Gray not happy with the free kick that led to the, the Celtic winner and also they felt they should have had a penalty. I think um, Paul McGinn called the referee John Beaton inept. Yeah. Well, I don't think the referee had a good game, that's putting it mildly. I think Celtic should have had a penalty in the first half, there was definitely a push. And it, the, the second one for Hibs was a, was a blatant penalty as well. Um, obviously the referee, I don't think he would have seen it, could have seen it, but, but on the television we've never seen the angle from behind the referee's eyes, um, but if he did see it, um, it, was, it was definitely a penalty. Um, but that's football for you, sometimes decisions go for you. I think personally that the free kick that, that Celtic got, I think it was a free kick, the hand was on his shoulder, touching his, touching his head, maybe a soft one, but from Celtic's point of view, quick thinking from Tom Rodgick, as he always is on the football pitch, and Kyogo, Celtic know what he does. He runs in behind back fours. Hibbs back fours know all about him. He moves so quickly. They switched off, and when you switch off against the top player, the, the passer and and the attacker, then there's danger. How pleased are you for Ange Postecoglou? I think the League Cup was your first trophy when yeah. you were alongside Ronnie Tyler. What can that do? Well, I'm delighted for Ange. He's, he's came in and at a difficult time for Celtic. Transitions, for, it's an understatement. Rebuild, complete rebuild. And he's got his first trophy. He's been playing good football since the start of the season. The Celtic fans are right behind him, loving what they're seeing. And I think it was vital for him and the players to get that first one in the bag. And of course, winning the League Cup means that the treble could be on. Is that still long in the distance? Is it all about the league now? Just concentrate on that because Rangers were able to get ahead with that playing well, the extra well, game. Rangers in the driving seat, and yet, as you say, they have been winning their games, and grinding out the results in the last few weeks. Van Bronckhorst came in and, and got them winning again in clean sheets. But the target for Celtic is is the title, league title. Um, well, they've got to try and keep playing well, keep scoring goals, and, and get tighten up a little bit at the back.